It's the, it's the, it's the ladies. Ladies, I'm happy to report that Terrain and I had our third date last weekend, and it was our best date to date. Oh, I'm that's so wonderful. happy for you. I'm really yeah. happy. <laughs> yes. I think I'm falling in love. I think one day I'm going to have Train Smith's babies. That's incredible. I'm trying to decide though if I should take his last name when I get married, but Torrance Smith would be like so blah. But I could hyphenate, so I'd be Torrance Flagstaff Smith. But my children would still be Smith, unless they inherited the hyphenation too? Nope, nope, just stop it. Yeah, Fern, I think you're right. They should not inherit the hyphenation. Because what will my daughter do when she wants to get married and like she wants to hyphenate and her husband is like Joe Johnson Engleberry and then she would be Daffodil Flagstaff Smith Johnson Engleberry. Right on! Torrance, stop. You've been dating this guy for two weeks and you were already talking about marrying off your hypothetical offspring. Don't call my children offspring. You don't have children yet. They don't exist. I'm with Fern on this one. Why don't... You really get to know each other before you decide to spend the rest of your life with him and have little semi-hyphenated babies. I do know him. We've talked for hours now. I know his middle name. I know his three older sisters' names. I know where he went to high school. I know what he wanted to be when he grew up. What did he want to be when he grew up? A fireman. Ah, oh, cool! I just know we're meant to be together. But how do you know that? I can just feel it in my soul. I remember the first time I really looked at him, like deeply into his eyes, and I said to myself, Oh, I found you. I've spent a lifetime looking for you. Wow, that's incredible. Just wow. Wow. Okay, sweetie. Uh, remember like a month ago when you were dating that guy Chris? You kind of said the exact same thing. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, ladies, I remember what she said. She said, Oh, hey. It's you. I've been searching for you for my entire life. Okay, so that's the same sentiment. We can all agree on that, right? I think so. It doesn't matter. Train is different. He's my soulmate. Okay, maybe he's your soulmate. Can we, can we compromise on that? Fern, this isn't your boyfriend we're talking about. It's mine. Have you even used that term yet? I mean, I thought you said third date. Well, technically no, but like... I slept over after the last date, so. I totally get it. Bet on, sister. No, Fern, there's nothing to get. Okay, there's like a little bit to get. Okay, let's get this straight. We're talking three dates, a slumber party, second face, knowledge of his childhood ambitions, and his three sisters' names. That is not sufficient evidence for soulmate dumb and eternal love. You're just jealous, Fern. I found true love, and you haven't been on a date in two years. <gasps> One year and seven months. Not that you're keeping track or anything. Ladies, stop it. I have had enough of this arguing. Fern, can't you just accept the fact that maybe Torrance is happy? And Torrance, can't you just realize that maybe Fern is trying to look out for your well-being? Back me up here, sassy! Uh, uh, Fern, I have a friend who I think you would totally hit it off with, and he is way fierce, just like you. Sassy, that's not what I meant. OMG, double date! Yeah! <laughs> that is what Zill meant. Yes, it's exactly what Syl meant. I'm an expert interpreter of emotions and situations. Social situation, here I come. Fifth wheel. Everybody wants a fifth wheel on their Lamborghini.